Well, first off, I'd like to uh, thank the Minnesota Vikings organization and Coach Zimmer for giving me an opportunity to, uh, to continue my coaching career here. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. Uh, you know, I'm excited to help get us to the Super Bowl. You know, that's something that uh, we all are, are, are working hard for, and that's what, we, that's what we're here to do. Okay, we'll throw it to Joe Schmidt to get us started. Yes, Keenan, I was wondering uh, how much your NFL success uh, helps you with some credibility with uh, receivers, particularly young receivers. It helps out a lot. I think, uh, you know, as I, as I go through it uh, and I talk to them and I explain, you know, the things that go on in, at this level, you know, it's a lot different from college. Uh, you know, I, I, the biggest thing I tell them is that I, I've sat in every single one of you guys' seat before from being the, uh, the fifth guy on the roster to being a practice squad guy on the roster, the fifth guy on the roster, the fourth guy, the third guy who's trying to get in to be the starter, the, the second guy, and the, and the number one guy. So I can kind of tell those guys, uh, you know, the stories uh, of the obstacles that are coming so they can be ready for them, uh, and it helps out a lot. I mean, they, they believe me, and, you know, so, and a lot of times those things actually happen, and they're already ready for it. Andrew Kramer. Hey, Keenan, I think we heard Justin say that you two already connected. Um, what was the initial conversation like, and what were your impressions of watching what his rookie season was? Oh man, we we connected at the combine. <laughs> We've connected here, you know. Just just I just wanted to introduce myself to him, and uh, you know, I I saw him after the game when I was coaching in Jacksonville. We played here, you know, and talked to him then. But now that I'm here, you know, it, it was great. I mean, uh, I'm just looking forward to him to continue to uh, to get better. Uh, you know, next year is a is a big year for him. I mean, and and I just want him. To, I want to stress that to him and continue to uh, to continue to work. I mean, you got to always outwork your 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 opponent and uh, I think he will. He has that type of uh, uh, de dedication and attitude, which I love. I mean, he's a guy that that can play a long time in this league. Eric Smith. Yeah, Keenan, uh, welcome to Minnesota. Kind of adding on that, you know, I'm sure you saw him on film as you know, I saw Justin on film, but when you saw him in person in week 13, did he play at a different speed, or was he kind of more different than you saw on film? Uh, you know what? To me, I felt like he was always uh, a guy that could, that that was a game breaker that could bust open a game at any time. Uh, even uh, in college, you know, you had a limited, limited, uh, had limited snaps playing outside. You know, and a lot of people didn't think he could play outside. And but. I mean, me being a, a former receiver, I mean, if you can play inside, you can play outside. It's a lot easier to play outside than it is to play inside. And so when he got his opportunity to start starting and playing outside, I knew that uh, that game-breaking ability was going to happen. And, uh, I mean, as, as you can see in week 13, he had an unbelievable day against the Jaguars. Matthew Collar. Keenan, having uh, been a part of one of the great receiver duos of all time yourself, you come here and you have one of the best receiver duos in the league. Um, how can you help those guys continue to play off of each other? And, and what is it, I guess, what is it like having that experience to be a part of uh, a duo that's so successful? You know what, I, I, you know, I had this conversation with Adam today and you know, I was just like, you know, you know, you guys are uh, similar to myself and Jimmy Smith. I mean, I think uh, you guys push each other. You guys have fun uh, playing with each other. And I said, I want you guys to continue to that, continue that because I've been a part of that. I understand that. I said, it's always a competition, but it's a friendly competition that, that to make each other better. And one thing that they got to realize, you know, and I, I will let them know, and I know they already do know that, you know, when one's having a good day, it's because the other one is getting doubled, or vice versa. So you gotta, you gotta take that and 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 play it, and and be a team player, and and keep playing. Ben Gisling, Keenan, uh, in terms of your relationship with Stephon Diggs, what kinds of things did he impress upon you about Minnesota? I guess number one, and, and number two, what kinds of things did he? Tell you about Adam Thielen and, and just his time getting to know him and, and working with him in Minnesota. 
I mean, he told me I was going to enjoy Minnesota, which he's right. You know, I, I think it's a I've, I've been here. I have visited here a lot of times for volleyball with my daughter. So uh, I understand the city and, and I enjoy the city already because I've been here and and, uh, and I, I love it. I mean, but what Steph also said about Adam was that he's a he's a he's a great competitor. Uh, he loves to win. Uh, he's a. Uh, cleanest trash talker he ever seen before, uh, which I love. Uh, and w one thing he did say is that, man, he loves to play football. And when he said that, that got me because I'm a player that loves to play football and and love to coach football. So I just love ball. And, and he said, Adam loves ball. Courtney Crowley. Keenan, why, th why this job? Um, I mean, how much of it entices you when you have someone who is still this blank canvas uh, in Justin Jefferson and knowing that you get him at that early part of his career? Was that a deciding factor for you in wanting to come here? It was. I mean, I, I really think that, you know, getting him as a blank campus, uh, Andrew did a great job with him uh, last year. And, and you know, I just want to continue to, to build on that. I want that campus to continue to, to grow and, uh, and, and, he, and let him be the artist to paint his picture, you know, of who he is. And I think uh, Andrew started it. I want to continue to start it and, I mean, continue to keep it going and, uh, and just let him keep uh, blossoming and understanding how to be an unbelievable pro and how to just just how to win and you know, and be able to say hey I'm the guy that's going to help help us win. Okay, we'll go to Lindsay Young to wrap this. Hi, Coach. Uh, welcome to the Vikings. I know that you uh, mentioned a little bit about Adam already, but I'm just wondering, kind of with someone like him who, you know, is established in the league, he's a veteran at this point, how do you help him to continue to elevate his game still? Um, and when he is someone who's expressing so much excitement to work with you, what does that mean to you as a coach? I mean, that means a lot. I mean, it's like, uh, you know, he's heard, you know, from Steph uh, how I coached. Uh, he likes it. Uh, it makes me feel good, you know. And and the fact that Adam is a guy that's, you know, that's continuing to play at a high level, I, you know, I just want him each and every day to, I mean, each and every year from here on out, just keep it, reinventing yourself uh, because I've been in that situation. Of, you know, I played 17 years. I've been where he's at, you know, and people are starting to say, is he, is he getting a little old, you know, getting a little long in the tooth or something like that? But you just got to keep it, reinvent yourself and keep showing up, you know. And, and how, how that happens is you go out and work every day and you outwork the, the guy next to you, I mean, and you out, outwork the young guy and make the young guy come, to your, come, come up to your level of work. And I think, uh, you know, if Adam continues to do that, which I already know he will, uh, you know, it's going to continue to get, uh, get better. It only gets, it only gets easier, as I say. As, as you get later in your career, it only gets easier. You already know the problem uh, before it's even, uh, you know, before it's even in front of you.